All right, real quick, just an update brief. Very, very, very close to fact. Maybe some missing participles, some variables, whatever have you, but does everybody that does all this rock for sobriety and group sobriety and I'm sober and I'm sober and I'm sober, do you not realize the fundamental fraud and the trillion dollar manipulation a year that ties directly to the church and the fraud of illusion that comes with it? They know you guys are susceptible to being manipulatable to a feeling. So instead of the drug, whatever it was, over the, the centuries, mankind has come to understand human psychology, right? The brain. So they know you'll show up at events. They know you'll donate money. They know you'll freely give publicity to sober events and groups and organizations all of that money, you have no idea where it goes. All of that money and all of those events don't go to people's sobriety. They go to continuing the manipulation of people that they know struggle with neurosequences that leave them controllable by some means or method to a degree. No matter how you look at it, that's a fact. When you go to church, you need something. Looks like they take nothing from you. But you'll do almost anything for the people of your church if they've always been there for you. That's taking everything from you, whether you like it or not. And sobriety people, it's the same way. You know, I know people that go to these events and they're sober and everybody's proud of you and everybody's proud of you. But you spend $8,000 injecting shit into your body to change your image. Your mind isn't balanced and whole yet. Some people manage to get through it. But the fact is, it is a manipulation. It is a fraudulent cycle of psychological control that is tied to knowledge of human beings that hasn't been publicly denoted to education yet. It hasn't been put in the education system because this is mass control manipulation. This is the fundamental understanding of, okay, if the drugs are in the world, and these people, you know, get over the edge on them, they'll come to us. Then we can use them for this and this and this and this, free publicity and funding, and they'll badmouth anything we want them to if we psychologically embed it. I've said this years ago, and I continue to say it on, on rare occasions, and certain people just continue to show up at the events and buy non-alcoholic stuff and donate and continue to go to church-based psychology groups and networks of people. Now, you can still get gangbanged in the back room by the same group of people at some of the events, right? But at least you're sober. There's such an illusion to that shit, man. I really hope that the government and the people involved can break ties with the need for the church and that fundamental containment psychology because it, it's, it's embarrassing as human beings. To know we've come so far with all of the people that were sacrificed for psychology and therapy and medicine and all the deaths from the torture and torment what people had to go through um, when they were enslaved in those medical processes and neuro processes for us to get the data we have just to have people making everybody look like fucking morons um, grasping at this illusion of sobriety that's a never ending process that you always have to work towards until you're dead. Because I can break my leg, get gunshot wounds, and it's only going to take me several months. Some people never walk again. Spinal damage, dog. They walk a couple years later. But all of a sudden, if you take pills for 10 years, 4 years, 1 year, and you do some shit you regret, the image of what it makes you look like, or you hurt some people you didn't want to hurt, all of a sudden, that's a never-ending process. You're never going to heal from that. That means they got you under the motherfucking thumb forever, dog. Fuck that shit. I don't care if it's in the guise of a church. I don't care if it's in the guise of a government. I don't care if it's in the disguise of a motherfucking social class stuff. It's fucked up and it's wrong and fuck them. Now, I'm not saying nothing about the people that need help. I love y'all to death. I'm just tired of people running into a wall the rest of their fucking life. And the only thing they care about is the fact that they're sober. Not that they look stupid. Not that they're being blindsided. Not that they're believing in some weird-ass, ridiculous shit. 
sucking on the fact that this tit they got in your motherfucking mouth now proves that you've solved your problem. And they just keep giving you a whole fuck ton of other problems. Man. Fuck 